Okay, I'm going to do this video in two parts. Always crooked. Um, I went to see my um, oncologist a couple days ago. I had uh, some lumps under my arm show up. And I pretty much knew it was just the lymphedema had was starting to spread up under the arms. And it was... Um, they were tender, it, you know, they hurt, they were just these lumps and they were red and when I pushed them, they hurt. It felt like if you wear an underwire bra and the underwire pokes into you, that's the kind of pain it was. Um, so I, because it was over the weekend, I emailed my doctor, I, should, I sent a photo of the lumps to her. And said, you know, it looks like the, I told her it looks like the lymphedema is spreading. You know, what do I do? And so she had me come in. She took a look at it. Of course, by the time I got in, the lumps were gone. <laughs> and she said, that's typical. Um, you know, it, judging by the photo you sent and by what I see now, it looks like it was the lymph nodes that were enlarged. Um, and she said, if it was painful, that's, it's not that it's good, but it's better than if it wasn't painful. Yeah, you know, I guess if it's not painful, that means it's, they're somehow impacted or something and there's other issues or they're more likely cancerous or something. I don't know, but she said because it was painful, it was better than if it weren't. I'm getting a lot of reflection on my glasses, sorry. Um, I move over this way a little and no not really <laughs> but um, so in talking to her she's going to renew the contract for the MLD so I can go back for the therapy and keep that up and so that's a good thing so I can get back with that and she's also sending me for an ultrasound just to make sure that there is nothing else going on there and because of all the headaches I've been having which have been occurring almost every day she's sending me for an MRI to make sure that there's no cancer spreading up into the brain apparently this is common you know like cancer spreads we know this but certain cancers beget other cancers and um, brain cancer is often a byproduct of breast cancer. She said if you had, what was it she said? She said if you had liver cancer, I'd tell you go see your general practitioner about the headaches, but because you had breast cancer, we're gonna do an MRI just to make sure that there's nothing going on there. And I, you know, there's like on one hand, I highly doubt that there is any cancer in the brain but on the other hand even if I do get the MRI maybe it will show a reason why I'm getting all these headaches I mean I've gotten migraines since I was eight years old so but <sighs> to have them every day is new that that's you know I don't know you know I thought it was the medication but maybe it's not you know I stopped the medication so maybe it's not the medication that triggered it maybe it was something else entirely I don't know so after I have the ultrasound and the MRI ultrasound is next week the MRI is the week after so after I have those done I'll post a second part of this video and update you all right, I'll see you then. Aloha, it's raining. Um, I forgot that I lost quite a lot of video. Um, well, not quite a lot, but an integral piece of video. I had reported on the ultrasound that I had done and when I went to look for it to put the whole video together last night it was gone that that one segment was gone 
and I think it happened when I was trying to, I know that there was one download that glitched and I couldn't open it on my computer and went back to my phone and it was gone. I think I had deleted it before I realized that the one on my computer was glitched and uh, um, so um, so the ultrasound I, it went fine. I mean they did not find any thing other than the fact that I have lymph nodes. Bye. Um, you know, by time I went in for the ultrasound, there was just like a couple of little tiny bumps under my arm. Um, I, she asked, it was funny because when she did the ultrasound, the tech asked me, have you gotten a new cat lately? I thought, oh, well, no, you know, no, I haven't. I want one, but I haven't. <laughs> and I thought, well, that was an odd question. Is this like a common allergic reaction to cats? Getting these massive bumps, you know, bumps and lumps under your arm or the, the lymph nodes swell up like that? I, you know, the the common allergic reaction I know of is, you know, the allergies and, you know, with the runny eyes and the sneezing and the runny nose and so having something like that would never have occurred to me as being an allergic reaction to a cat. Um, but I have not had a cat. I haven't been around any cats. So... It's not that, but um, you know, it's just the fact that my lymph nodes are reacting to everything. So yeah, you know, I do not like the way this thing sits. Um, I, I don't like that it's so far away. I do like the way it spins around, but and it, it seems like it stays a little bit steadier, but I don't like the way it sits so far away. I wonder if I can change it. I don't know where my other one is. I'm gonna try, hang on. Aloha. I am in between properties right now. Um, early in the morning, it's only 7.30. I guess it's not really early for me, but it's early. Um, I decided to do an early morning visit today just to get it done with. And um, I had an MRI. I had my MRI last night, so this is my second part. I don't have the results yet, but I doubt that they're going to find anything, you know. I was, it's kind of weird, but I was kind of hoping I'd have a really bad headache while I was having the MRI, so that, you know, maybe they would see something that was causing it. I don't know if that, you know, if that's real, if it's a real thing or not that if, if I'm actually having the headache that they can see it triggered in my head while they're doing the MRI. Um, but I didn't, of course, you know, had them for five, six days in a row, and then yesterday, nothing. I, that's the way it goes with everything, I suppose. But... Um, so now I just have to wait for the doctor. I'm sure she'll call me today or tomorrow and say, yeah, there's nothing there. So that's it for now. And um, I'll do another 
a, a third part, I guess, after I get the results. The MRI itself is just so bizarre. That that chunk, 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 chunk. And it makes so many weird noises. It makes like these weird beeping noises. You think like um, aliens are coming. <laughs> And then it's, there's the chunk a chunk a chunk, and then it goes at all these different speeds, and so it's almost like music. There's one part it sounded like this weird '60s beatnik kind of um, alternative music. I, I I I know what I'm trying to think of, but I don't know what it would be called. Experimental something. Or somebody just gets in front of a synthesizer or something and just starts playing different things and then they call it experimental. Um, it, it, you know, and it started me thinking, you know, I'm listening to this, the, the part that sounded like, like I said, the aliens were coming. Um, it reminded me of the kind of sounds that they would use in that TV show The Outer Limits. I loved that show. I, I really, really loved that show. Whenever they showed it in repeats on Channel 44 or something, I, I was there. I, I loved it. Um, and that show is like Twilight Zone, except it was always about aliens. It always outer space, aliens, and um, you know, of course, old black and white, and it was just, you know, I remember the, and, um, you know, there was, in fact, it's one of the very early TV shows that I remember is an episode from that, and so when it was making these sounds, I kept thinking about that old episode from The Outer Limits, and You know, and then of course there's all this other music going on in my head because of the way the sounds are going and they tell you you have to lay still and I'm like oh god and I had this crick in my neck I was like I just need to move my neck that's all <laughs> and they can't and then they pull you out and they put dye in your arm and you have to go back in and but you still can't move your neck when you're you still can't move your head or your neck when they pull you out just keep everything the same so we don't have to reshoot and I've got this horrible crack, and I can feel it. It feels like my neck is going to crack. It's just like right there on the edge. And I was like, just let me, just, that's all I need to do. Yeah, no, couldn't do it. Crap. I need to change lanes, and I can't. Um, so it was quite painful but not comfortable you know and it takes half an hour and the thing is it's like you think they're only doing your head you don't you think they'd only put you in like here no they still put you in down to your belly button so it's really claustrophobic I just closed my eyes and you know my mind let my mind go um, basically I did a YouTube video in my head while I was laying there. <laughs> um, it's too bad I couldn't repeat the whole thing. Um, you know, but, you know, if you have to have one done, they're not the most comfortable thing. At least the table is padded. You know, when I was doing the, um, oh, what was it I was doing? The right the radiology stuff, the radiated, uh, um, radiation, the during, you know, there's when you're facing one direction, I guess it's when you're on your stomach, it's padded, but when you're on your back, it's not. And that was uncomfortable, but that was like five minutes, so not too bad. But, um, Anyway, so my exit's coming up, so stay tuned for part three.
Aloha. Guess I better roll up my window. Huh? Um, I have the results of my MRI back. No cancer. Big surprise. But they did find some other issues. So I just wanted to post that. I'm not going to say anything about the other issues right now because I don't have information on them. Um, so when I do, I will let you know. But, um, you know, now I have to do the colon testing thing. You know, the one you do at home in the bathroom and poke the little stick in your poop and send it back to them. They're very adamant that I do that. I don't know why. <laughs> but. And I'm testing out another um, phone holder. This one, it wobbles a lot. This is like the original one I had and I knew that it wobbled. But I kind of wanted to throw it in here and compare it to the others that I have too. So. see <laughs> yeah so I've got one left to try after this and I think it'll be down to a couple of them and we'll see which one works best but that's it for now and I'll talk to you later bye bye